Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, I'm going to show you how to work with Adobe Dimension. At least, I can show you some of the basic stuff like this how to do basic composition. And, you know, let's do this. First step, let's see. So, we got this background thing going on. We're going to need to change this to black here. You can change the background color. I'm going to go full black. Um, we're going to need to place a plane. I can select the plane so far it looks like this I can press and hold shift and I'm gonna click on this little circle here see that and I'm gonna drag it you know to the left so it's gonna rotate it so now from here I'm gonna go to this uh, blue arrow and drag it up and as you can see it is going to snap here with this thing you can rotate it however you want we're gonna work it something like this uh, I'm gonna select the selection tool I'm gonna also recolor this and we're gonna go here to the action click on this uh, select material and we have the base color I'm gonna go with black you can scroll zoom in uh, we're gonna type in some text and as you can see we got the basic shapes we got the text here click on it I'm gonna zoom out and there you go here is the text okay if you scroll here down you can type in whatever you want I'm gonna type in Panther you know you can choose a font I'm gonna go with Morganite Black. So I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna rotate it so you can see what is going on from this side. So right now, as you can see, we got some thickness for the text and you also can adjust it. This is the depth. So if you increase the depth, it's gonna make it thick or thin. I'm gonna go with one centimeter. You also can activate here this. So this is basically going to render in 3D. and what i'm gonna do is deactivate this so um another thing like how you want to scale this down or up because right now the text is a little bit big we're gonna scale this down so i'm gonna click on the typo and we got this little square right here i'm gonna press and hold shift and click on the scale so this way it's gonna scale perfectly i'm gonna arrange it and i'm gonna bring it a little bit more out and I'm gonna go to the camera, camera view and front. So now I can view it perfectly from the front. Also another thing I forgot to check the size. So we got the canvas size. Right now it's a little bit small. I'm gonna go with uh, 1920 by 1920. Fit canvas, perfect. So right now I can see it's gray. I'm gonna click on it, go here to the material and click on the base color and I'm gonna select the white let's click on the sphere i gonna so basically position position to the center i'm gonna do the same thing press and hold shift and click on this little square here you know and scale it down by the way you also can position this you know from the bottom here to the center so it's gonna be a little bit more easier for you and the main idea is the ball to be, you know, only halfway out. So it's going to look like this. Camera view front. I'm going to arrange it back. We're going to go to the lights first. And I saw a softbox light somewhere. There you go. This is the softbox. I think I'm just going to drag it onto the ball. So basically here you can select environmental lights, you know, and... I'm going to activate this to see how it's going to look in real time. And now we're going to go to the materials. I'm going to go with gelatin. I'm going to drag and drop to the ball. And I'm also going to activate this side. Basically, can see how it looks in, in real time. And I'm going to click on the translucent, you know. And we got the index refraction here. So if you decrease the index refraction, it won't magnify that much. If you increase it, it is going to magnify it a lot. So you need to find the sweet spot in there. I'm gonna scale this down. You can also move it, create new copies from it. I'm gonna press Control C, Control V. All right, so after you make your composition, you can render it. You just go here to the render up here and you can save it here wherever you want just click on it i'm gonna save it on desktop you got psd and png you can go high medium low i'm gonna go with high you're gonna take forever until it's gonna render you can rename it however you want and click on render and this is it thanks for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end have a good one bye bye